Focus. Don't run me over. Life Balance. Many books, articles, workshops, gadgets, and TV shows are dedicated to helping us find balance in our life. As a group, I think women are drawn to these marketing words. We feel out of balance more than we feel everything is balanced and easy to handle. What if we could just change the conversation between our ears? I'm talking about the dialogue in our mind. What if it was that simple? What if we had the power and knowledge from the day we were born? You see, whether your life is balanced or unbalanced is not about anyone else's concept or label or what anyone else is telling you. It's about what you are telling yourself about your life. It's your inner dialogue. In the words of Denny Smith, it's the things we tell ourselves. I was sitting in a presentation recently, and the speaker was talking about balance and how to have it. A large portion of the attendees were feverishly taking notes and hanging on to every word she was saying. I did think it was a good talk, but I was more interested in why I wasn't taking notes. What had changed in me that I didn't think I needed to write all this down? Part of it is I'm getting older, and I know that these notes will just go into a pile and be lost in a couple of months and then get scanned into archive folder never to be seen from again. My notes these days from lectures consist of action steps. Look up this, call this, sign up for that. When I found the rest of the answer, I was surprised. I have found balance for right now. I realized it was only about how I perceived the events in my life on a daily basis and the amount of support I have. It's a blend of friends, family, faith, coaches, exercise, trusted advisors, doctors, mechanics, and more. I also know that it's a day-by-day -day conversation and a choice that I make. This is a coaching tip. Next time your to-do list is running you and you feel out of control and unbalanced, number one, breathe. Take a really deep breath in. Hold it for three seconds and then let it out slowly. Number two, ask yourself a question. What have I done well recently? Number three, name three places in your life that are balanced. One day my answers were that I brushed my teeth, cleaned out the kitty litter, and fed the dog. It wasn't my best day, but those were good places. The truth is, what you focus your mind and heart on is where your life goes. If you focus on imbalance and chaos, guess what you get? More imbalance and chaos. I have a real-world example of this. When I was in a land surveying technician for MnDOT, I would need to stand in the middle of the road at times, with traffic slowly going by me. Standing and moving traffic, you make eye contact with drivers. This was before texting and everyone having a cell phone, to make sure that they see you and are going around you. One day, a senior woman, barely able to see through the steering wheel, was coming down the road at 55 miles per hour. She did not slow in our work zone, and as soon as she saw me, her full attention was focused on me. She was driving her car right at me because she was focused on me. I had traffic on the other side of me at the same time. There was nothing I could do but stand up straight and be ready to jump on her car to avoid being crushed. She did not run me over, but her focus was on me and not on the road ahead. She missed me by millimeters. Thank you, God. My point is that what you focus on, you will drive towards. Make sure you're focusing on what you want and not on what you don't want. Let me leave you with a thought for the day. As you add another thing to your job duties, your schedule, ask yourself this. Do I care? Why do I care? What happens if I don't do it? Who grows if I teach them to do it? In the great words of Robert Fulham, in his book, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten, live a balanced life. Learn some and think some and draw and paint and sing and dance, and play and work every day some.